This custom room is just more than the expectation and it's quite awesome. Which custom room I'm talking about, it's it's actually kind of new and maybe a modded edition of Superior OS custom room. Superior OS, which is one of those custom rooms based on AOSP, having some customizations, etc. It's of course Superior OS, but this is extended edition. I recently found it's available for a few of the Xiaomi devices, Mi 11X, Poco F3, Redmi K40. We also have the support for Poco F4, which is Redmi K40S. We also have the support for Redmi Note 10 Pro, Pro Max, etc and maybe there are other devices too so yes you should give it a try if it is available for your device firstly have a look at the settings ui it's of course card style ui and including this card style ui you can see whenever you enter any sub menu you can see there are some differences as compared to the normal superior os custom room superior os is so good i made a video already on that that is too superior to use but includes some customizations but this one is a bit different it's modified edition of superior os custom room in battery section you can see the battery section is also a bit customized you have the information for temperature capacity and of course some bugs are there like the charging cycles but that's not a major issue if you move on to the options in wallpapers and style, you have the option to customize the fonts and icon pack but this is not enough. We have insane number of customizations available. We'll talk about that later on in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Moving on to the security options as expectedly face unlock, fingerprint unlock and the app lock support is there and even in the app locker you don't need to enable the protection feature to hide that particular app from the launcher you just need to enable the hide option and restart your launcher and that's it. Here is a superior lab which includes a lot of customizations options for you. The UI is a bit same and it's exactly looking like same like superior OS but it is not exactly like that. It's, it's having some extra customizations as compared to the normal superior OS. I'm using this custom room from past some time and it's that it's absolutely amazing you can see the ui styles options are available some pre-installed themes for example pack leggers theme we have the options for shishu nights immensity solarized etc i found these themes were in bootleggers os custom room and that is also one of those custom rooms which is dead and no more alive if you move on to the icon pack options, you have extra icon pack options available. Archers, Aurora, Filled, Plumpy and some useful ones like Lawn. Sometimes I use this icon pack and it looks quite good. You can even customize the data icon styles and this feature I guess not present in the normal superior OS edition. But this feature is super amazing. This you can customize that icon style. And I found this option was available in Ancient OS custom room. Maybe some other custom room brings you too, but Ancient OS at least brings you. There are many options to customize the signal icons. As you can see, insane number of customizations available. You have the option to customize the Wi-Fi icon too. There are many Wi-Fi icon styles available. You can choose any one of them. You have the Glummy, Grad icon, etc, etc. There are many names available. You can even customize the icon shape as expectedly. And you also have the option to customize the brightness slider too. For example, if you want to choose this option, which is named as double layer like this, you can customize according to this one. If I move on and check out this minimal thumb option, and this is how the UI is looking like. So you can customize the brightness slider, which looks good. If you move on to the status bar options, you have the option for status bar battery styles. And of course, there are many battery styles options available. For me, one of the best one is of course, landscape iOS 16, but you can choose any other. If you want to have the color OS style, we have this simple style, etc, etc. And actually having all landscape battery styles available by the way, but yes, looks interesting. Including that because those things are available in some other custom homes too. It also brings you the option to customize the dimensions of that battery indicator. For example, you can move your battery indicator to the right, left, or you can even change this margin from top and bottom. And this is so useful, at least for me, because I use some apps where the status bar doesn't look that good. But with these customizations, I can customize, I can modify my status bar icons according to my own preference. So this is really amazing. And this is one of the reasons why I am loving the superior extended edition. As expectedly, we also have the clock background chip, which is a very useful thing and it's available in some other custom homes too. Same like the battery icon, you can even customize the signal and Wi-Fi icons position. It's totally up to you, you can customize the padding, you have the option to do that. 
including that if you move on to these header images this is so amazing and other custom homes you have the option to customize a header image for sure but in those you have just numbers you can just customize that but without the preview but in this case you have the preview so that's so amazing this should be included in every customer because if you want to use any header image in your status bar in quick settings panel you definitely need to take a preview you want to take a look that how it is actually looking like it's available here you can even use the local image if even if you don't say if you're not satisfied with the default quick setting header images you can use them that's so amazing too and as expectedly, it is also having you bringing you the option for Android 11 still quick settings panel, which I was using previously. So let me try to enable the default one too. You just have to adjust these rows and columns according to your preference like this one. And here it is. It's totally up to you if you want to customize these things or not. All these things are already available for everyone. And as expectedly, brightness slider customizations and auto brightness icon. You can also customize the brightness percentage options. If I move on the buttons option, you can see we have some volume panel options available too. You have the option to choose approximately volume Sigma style, approximately five styles are available. You can choose any one of them and including that you can see the percentage is also there. You can see you can enable or disable this option. If I disable the percentage option, now I'm not able to see how much volume percentage I have enabled. So volume percentage is a great idea. At least it's, it's implemented and yes, it's also useful. Including this one, if we move on to the navigation bar option and we have immersive navigation option present. One thing is missing called hide IME space option. That's unfortunate because this customer brings you a lot of customization, but sometimes we have to sacrifice some things. So this is one of them. Gestures as expectedly same here. Nothing to talk about because quickly open camera, one handed mode, etc. Features are present there. Three finger gesture as expectedly is also present. You can use that. Lock screen having the screen of animations and the lock screen clock format and as expectedly you can even customize a lock screen clock for example the bottom spacing the clock text size and the large lock screen clock text size everything is customizable like this one you have the option to choose the you, you have the option to modify the bottom space you have the option to modify the clock color etc by the way if you choose this custom lock screen color this should work too so it's totally up to you if you want to customize this color like this one so yes quite impressive a lot of customizations as expectedly if you move on the power menu advanced restart option and the disable power menu option and including that the power menu animation for example if i enable this 3d option so whenever you enable power menu this is how the power menu will open up if you move on and apply this fly option like this one and like this this is how it is looking like but this one is one of my favorite which is rotate okay like this one looks interesting although it's just for customization purpose it's not for the feature based things features and customizations are two different things this should be considered in customization not a feature though if you move on to notification customizations or notification options you have the option for clear all notification button and that button is also customizable you have the option for in call vibration options which should be included it's already there it's working perfectly fine reticker notification which is a great replacement of heads up notification is also present of course i'm using it and you should use that too it also brings you the google services option which means if your device supports this you can simply disable the google services if you're not satisfied with that because if google services are pre-included including that parallel space you have the option to choose more apps or you have the option to choose the multiple instances of that particular app last but not the least if you move on to the miscellaneous options you have that ignore window secure flags which is of course as expectedly present here ripple effect on unlock with fingerprint android p animation style smart pixel frame rate in screen record everything what you are looking forward to is already present here looks so impressive and one of the best ones this custom home is not so far away from instant os or rising os right now because rising ui instant os were one of those or two of those custom homes which brings you insane number of customizations but now the superior os extended edition i guess bringing you insane number of customizations too so more customizations better stability good smoothness etc i guess it's a great choice if you want to install this custom home on your xiaomi device link is available in the description this is it thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to like this one and also don't forget to subscribe the channel we'll see you in the next one until then goodbye